It's like watching a car wreck. Hard to stomach, but you can't tear your eyes away. So goes the blistering online roasting of British banker Anton Casey, an ode to click happy social media disasters. The 39-year-old even received death threats for his recent Facebook post, which called public transport commuters poor people who carry a stench. Another infamous post called a taxi driver a retard for wearing gloves and arm warmers. Earlier on Monday, Casey's comments spread like wildfire online, and incensed Singaporeans gave the man a shelling. In response, Casey's employer Cross Invest Asia said in a statement that the wealth management firm does not condone the offending comments and will take appropriate action after investigation. Law Minister K. Sean Mugam said on Thursday in a Facebook post that Casey's comments were deeply offensive, wrong, and unacceptable. Mr. Sean Mugam also said he was glad the community had come together to condemn Casey's remarks, which he termed showed contempt. However, he asked for Singaporeans not to flame the Britain's family, as Singaporeans can be bigger than that. Casey, who is a wealth manager at Cross Invest and married to ex Miss Singapore Bernice Wong, reportedly made these comments after taking public transport when his car was under repair. In a YouTube video, Casey was seen addressing an unknown angry audience, calling them singularly a wuss. For raising you a wuss. Casey later released an apology through a PR firm and said that due to a security breach of his Facebook page, his family, and especially his five year old son, has suffered extreme emotional and verbal abuse online. Casey also said the video was unrelated to the recent posts and was misused. This is not the first time a foreigner has caused an online uproar over offensive actions. Remember Amy Chong's racist Facebook rant against Malays for what she perceived to be their low-cost and lengthy void deck weddings? And also Barclays banker Olivier Debar, who was caught on video raging against construction workers in October 2012. The two of them were fired from their jobs after their antics were circulated online. Casey's remarks has even made it to world news, picked up by news agencies in the UK, Hong Kong, Australia, Ireland and Malaysia. As we watch this mushroom cloud of a social media disaster unfurl, the rest of us poor people can head down to local bar tuck shop to enjoy our too cheap $12 pint. Or we could take advantage of budget airline Scoot's cheeky dick at Anton Casey and enjoy 50% off flights to Perth. Except that the promo did so well, it sold out within half a day on Sunday. A day after Casey left Singapore for Perth with his family, his company Cross Invest Asia announced on Friday that the senior wealth manager is no longer its employee. In a statement on its Facebook page, the company said that his comments go against our core corporate and family values, and that Cross Invest and Casey have parted ways with immediate effect. In an email to the Straits Times written from Perth, Casey apologised for his offensive remarks, offering to volunteer time and resources to community projects to make amends. He also said he hoped Singaporeans will forgive him over time. He said, This week I have made the greatest mistake of my life.